these are Florida rap lyrics that really happen. And let's start with a bar from Fulio's Beatbox Remix, because he says, Corbin got kidnapped. They found his bones. He was rotten. Corbin Johnson was an 18-year-old associated with the Jump Out Gang from East Jacksonville. Corbin was reported missing by his family on June 11, 2018. And on the last day Corbin was seen, he was out applying for jobs with the help of his dad. Eventually, his father dropped him off at an Amazon warehouse, but he'd never see his son again. The following day, his dad sent Corbin a couple texts and called his phone, but he couldn't get an answer. After 48 hours passed, the family filed a missing person report, but the police didn't have much info to go off of. Then, exactly a whole year later, on July 11, 2019, a man clearing a field on a tractor found human remains wrapped in a bag. Police instantly determined that the bones belonged to Corbin, and his death was ruled a homicide. It's reported that his murder was retaliation over a drug deal that went wrong, because Corbin was allegedly set up by a girl he knew and was kidnapped by a rival crew. They then held him for ransom over the drug debt, and when his partners refused to pay what was owed, they killed him and hid his body far off in the woods. There wasn't much evidence to go off of after his body was discovered, so no one was ever arrested for the murder. Fulio even went live on IG and made fun of Corbin for getting kidnapped after he dropped the diss song. Man, I got this kidnapped, like real deal, lost and found type. Like, they found this man on bro, I ain't even just saying this. They literally found this man bones. But Corbin isn't the only person Fulio mentioned in that beatbox remix, because he also dissed a witness who took the stand against two of his friends. Jamar, that's a real rat. Jamar was a witness who put two of Fulio's close friends, Cracker Jack and JB, behind bars. The case involved the murder of one-year-old Aiden McClendon, who was accidentally killed in a drive-by shooting in 2016. The baby was in the car with his grandmother and great-grandmother on the east side of Jacksonville when two men started shooting from a moving vehicle. Their goal was to hit the victim's older cousin, 19-year-old Reginald Brown who was standing in the yard when the shooting took place. The shooters missed and hit Aiden by accident. Aiden was then rushed to the hospital and unfortunately died later that day. Jamar happened to be standing nearby and saw the whole thing go down. He even took a picture of the two killers, which was eventually used to identify Cracker Jack and JB. They were both arrested and charged with murder. Jamar took the stand against the two men and testified that they were the ones who took Aiden's life. Both were under 18 at the time and were sentenced to life in prison, with the possibility of parole after 25 years. And according to internet rumors, the shot was retaliation after Reginald tried to shoot at Cracker and accidentally hit his girlfriend's three-year-old daughter. So Cracker and JB tried to get revenge on Reginald, but ended up hitting his innocent cousin instead. And Jamar wasn't involved in the streets. He just happened to be a witness who saw the whole thing go down. In Kodak Black's song, I Wish, he also talks about some real life stuff, saying, And I hate how I fell out with Wiz. You did what you did, so I did what I did. Wiz the Wizard and Kodak were really close friends at one point. They were even seen together at shows, doing music videos, and always hanging out with each other. And everything was all good until the summer of 2021, when Wiz and Kodak started beefing over the $30,000 that Wiz had with Kodak's label. Because Wiz went on IG explaining how he wanted out of the contract and didn't want to beef. I just want to buy the contract, bitch. You avoid that thing else but that contract. You talking about that thing else but that contract, bro. We not beefing, brother. After Wiz posted that video, Kodak went on Instagram saying how they're tripping over a little money. I can't imagine how you have been if you have had half the money I have, I man. You know what I'm saying? This 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 to a lot about you, bro. This a lot of shit, you know and things would get crazier since Kodak wasn't trying to let Wiz buy out the contract. So Wiz made a tweet saying, I'll beat a rap. Following with another tweet that's all good at going live, capping, get yo in the field, and get active. A few hours later, Kodak tweeted, be acting like killers. That be killing me. Wiz replied to Kodak's tweet, laughing, saying, Oh God. Not too long after all the drama between the two, on September 17th, 2021, Wiz the Wizard was found dead in Hollandale, Florida. According to investigators, foul play was involved in his murder. So no one knows if it happened there or if his body was brought there after they killed him. Then, not long after Wiz's death, Kodak went on Instagram saying that none of his friends are dead. So he doesn't say rest in peace. I don't never say no live or rest in peace, nothing. None of my homeboys ain't dead. But he eventually felt some type of way about falling out with Wiz. That's why he said, I hate I had fell out with Wiz in that song. Where I'm spinning the bin is another person who fell out with Kodak over a similar situation. So he took shots at Kodak on his song, Paying for Killings, and said, Kodak gave me 30. I blew it in sacks. I'm finna sign for M's. I ain't tripping. You get that back. Wim explained how Kodak only signed him for 30k. But now that he has some fame to his name, he wants more. And just like Kodak does with all the other rappers he signed, he requested Wham to pay him the $30,000 back. And not long after Kodak told Wham to pay him the money back, they went on Instagram and started arguing with each other. But you don't know me, boy. Why you, what you, you up? Upload all you that up. mess, boy. 
Stop playing with me, boy. So I ain't I my shit. Boy, stop man. playing me, boy. So I don't say no iron. I mean, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know you. Cause I swear I was psycho. He know what time it is. And also subscribe really quick before we move on to this next bar. But next, we have a bar from I Don't Smoke Kendra by Spinner Benz because he gets insanely disrespectful in this song saying, this mama got shot and he's still tweaking. This got shot cause I know she leaving. They shot that finger off. She couldn't even tweet it. Spinner Benz is talking about Fulio with these lines since Fulio's mother was shot while in her house and Fulio's girlfriend was shot multiple times while sitting in her car. One bullet grazed her head and another bullet even hit her finger. After Fulio's girl got shot, his ops even went on Instagram making fun of her because of how she looked after getting shot. Don't look right. You finna cheat on her ass, cause, and after she healed up, she posted a video on her YouTube channel explaining the situation. So everybody wanna know, where did I get shot? I got shot, I got grazed in my head, I got shot in my hand, I got shot in my thumb, I got shot in my wrist, I got shot in my own um, knee. Spina Benz also dissed another one of Fulio's close friends on this song saying, Rod K died, he was spinning, guess he freezed up. Rod K was shot and killed outside the Hilltop Apartments because on November 20th, 2020, police responded to a call about gunshots being fired in the parking lot at the apartment complex. Paramedics later arrived and found two gunshot victims lying in the parking lot. At first, it seemed like their injuries weren't life-threatening, but Rod would later pass away after being brought to the hospital. And rumors say that Rod K went out looking for the person who killed one of their gang members, but the ops caught up with him before he caught them. Spinner Benz also made fun of Rod K on Who I Smoke, saying 12 paramedics couldn't save your life but rod k dead and he never coming back in his next bar young and ace also this is one of fulio's closest friends who was killed before turning 18 saying he didn't get the chance to see 18 that died a little boy ace is dissing fulio's best friend bibby who was killed at 16 years old outside of some apartments in february 2019 and on this day bibby was hanging out with a friend outside the apartment complex when two men jumped out of a vehicle and started shooting in their direction two boys ran in different directions with bibby being hunted down and then shot to death as he tried to shield himself and the friend survived and police later recovered more than 45 shell casings from a rifle. And not long after Bibby's death, Young and Ace's close friend, Queso, started dissing Bibby and all of his songs to disrespect him. He even went as far as using Bibby's image on his album cover. And he was non-stop with the dissing, since almost every post he made was a diss toward Bibby. Yeah, Bibby! That's what Bibby did! Man, I play Bibby cremated and we out. Queso also took shots at Bibby on his song Queso, saying, Bibby had a closed casket. I wasn't surprised. And all the dissing drew attention from local news outlets and police. So Queso was eventually charged with the murder of Bibby after being arrested for allegedly killing another one of Fulio's friends named Lil Buck and is still fighting that case. And things aren't looking the best for Queso with this case. Since Queso's dad is telling investigators that Queso was the one who killed Lil Buck since both of them went on the drill together. Robinson Sr. told the state attorney's office that his son, Hakeem Robinson posted on Instagram an incriminating message after McCormick was murdered. I'm calling the story, it's on the story saying that kill and get the toes done. If you thought that was crazy, this next bar from Fulio is even crazier. Since on When I See You, he says, went out to eat on his birthday, four shot, three dead, in the worst way. In this bar, Fulio is rapping about a shooting that went down back in 2018 involving Ace, his brother, and two of their friends. On this day, Ace and the gang went out to eat at a sushi restaurant in Jacksonville. Since they were celebrating young and Ace's brother named Quan Quan's birthday, who had just turned 18. But as they were leaving the restaurant, another vehicle pulled up on the side of them and started shooting. Ace was shot eight times but survived. Unfortunately, everyone else in the car, including Quan Quan and their two other friends, was killed. And the shooting is rumored to be payback for the murder of Fulio's cousin, Zion Brown. And in the video for the song, Fulio takes the disrespect to another level by rapping next to a printed banner with the three victims' faces on it that was taken from the news coverage. Plus, the video was filmed at a gravesite, which many assumes was where the three victims were buried. But the lyrics in this video are even crazier. So click this to see Chicago rap lyrics that really happened. And King Von went too far with one bar. 